Divers, we've got the new BlackBerry Curve 8520, and we are going to open it. It's still in its little sealed container. Uh, Idea engineers just dropped this off, and uh, it should be quite cool. So let's see how it looks inside. It's like Christmas, you pull it open. Okay, then very important, I'm secure. It's extra sealed to make sure that you've got the freshest blackberry as possible. It's actually quite difficult to open. Okay, maybe you should get that knife. <laughs> I told you earlier. This is really off. <laughs> Take a break. No, I can do this. Maybe I should buy it. Do you have keys or something? Mm -mm. software that you can install on your PC to synchronize between your phone, your contacts and the rest. We've got Ta-da! The Blackberry. Also got some goodies, headsets. You've got your charger with a connector for the South African market and you've got your USB cable. Okay, just a normal port of the charger that connects to the mini USB. And last but not least, the battery. So, you guys, you know the 8900 curve. Basically, the main difference between the new model and the 8900 is you've got this little trackpad where with the 8900 you used to have a roller ball. So this is basically a new feature. I played with it at the launch. It's very easy to use. Just slide it and response is amazing. You can set it according to your sensitivity levels. Okay, the new phone has got kind of, it's almost like a rubbery feel to the casing, which is quite nice because when you hold it, it's quite firm and doesn't slide when your hands get sweaty. Uh, let's see, camera, no flash. That's, uh, I would have liked it with a flash, but the photos to be taken are still pretty excellent. At the top, this is a new feature that they've brought on. You can see it's got media keys that are dedicated for your play, your pause, forward and back. This is actually a great and for music and videos. And then on the side, they've got, uh, you've got your normal two convenient keys, which is now basically embedded within the casing. So it's not on the outside. And then you've got your two volume keys at the top. Um, keyboard, this isn't as glossy and as slick as with the 8900, but still you've got a firm grip on it which I like, and take off this cover, you'll see that the whole face design is embedded into one. So the 8900 and the 8310 are separate keys on its own. So it gives a kind of nice finish. Okay, now let's charge it and play with it. 